but perhaps the most legendary and lethal animal style of all focuses on sheer raw power. It's based on one of nature's strongest and most dangerous predators. The tiger. Yeah! 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 Hey, pass! 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 Yes! Lethal! Yes! 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 Ferocious. Brent Foster is a martial artist with black belts in several disciplines and he's inspired by the intensity of tiger-style kung fu. It's one of those animal styles where you're copying some intense emotions. For example, if you see the snake, there's no emotion. You see the praying mantis, there's no emotion. How could you have one? But then when you see a tiger, it's like, ah! it's intense. Ah! It's a ferocious martial art. And so we use our hands like the tiger claw. Tigers are apex predators dominating the top of the food chain for good reason. They're brutally strong, capable of crushing the throat of their prey with a single lethal strike. Here in the fight science lab, our scientists are going to measure if a martial artist can generate the force of a tiger. This is one of the main martial arts styles in Chinese Kung Fu, the tiger style. And in this tiger style, we learn to strike and we swat like a tiger, but we do it more circular. Okay, so we really want to compare your tiger claw strike to an actual tiger claw strike, okay? And there's only one way to do that. Go head to head and claw to claw. The fifth and final animal style kung fu can help a fighter claw his way to the top of the food chain, tiger style. Yes! Yeah! The tiger claw strike is considered one of the most powerful blows in all of the martial arts. So the fight science team is poised to measure men versus tiger. Because of the immense dangers of working with a tiger, animal wrangler Hayden Rosenauer calls for a safety meeting. Today we have a real live wild striped tiger on set today with big sharp teeth and fangs and claws and all that. She is a wild animal and we want to treat her that way. If she somehow breaks a cable and comes off of this thing, just stand up and stand where you're at. Never run, I don't care what goes down, do not run out of here. Running makes you look like prey to the tiger. And there's a reason that this creature is an apex predator at the top of the food chain. Raw power. This dominance is reflected in the tiger-style kung fu. It's not defensive. It's all about the offensive attack. Swift, strong, and merciless. I actually just found out that we're doing a test with a real tiger. The fact that they're going to compare my technique to a tiger's technique, it's amazing. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. And I'm a little nervous about going up against it. We want to know how much force a tiger strike can generate and how the tiger claw kung fu technique stacks up in comparison. So we had to come up with something that we knew the tiger would kind of swat at. Right. Okay. So we have a instrumented kind of soccer ball. So there's a accelerometer inside and we know it weighs about one and a half pounds. Okay. So we're going to start with having the tiger strike at that ball. The soccer ball with an accelerometer implanted inside will measure how many pounds of force the tiger can generate with a single swipe of its paw. This will give us a baseline reading and then Bren will do the same thing to see how a human version of the tiger claw compares. She looks like she's playing with it there, Bren. She's got her eye right on it. Look at, the, look at her whiskers all stand up. Even though he's been working with this tiger since she was a cub, Hayden is still extremely cautious as he tries to get the big cat to take a swipe at the target. Good, good, get it! If she struck him by accident, Jeez. Not my hand. it could be lethal. That was fast. <laughs> that was fast for the meat. Although this tiger is clearly playing, 
This single swipe at the target generates over 1,400 pounds of force. Now that we've established a comparative baseline, it's time to find out if Bren's Tiger Claw technique can possibly generate as much force as its namesake. I'm going up against a 600 pound tiger today. I only weigh 176 pounds. If me and this tiger were in the ring together, I've got no chance. Okay, Brad, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, strike. Finish. Finish. The strike is blindingly fast. But could it be anywhere near the power of a tiger? Okay, let's take a look at the high-speed video of both the tiger and Bren striking the instrumented ball. Look at that focus. And yeah, he is completely is focused on the ball, and then he strikes it right there. Wow. Well, let's see if Bren had that focus that we're yeah. talking about. Yes, he does. Oh, look, he yeah, does. Look he absolutely does. Look at that. Yep. It's that growl. It's got Arr. With that strike, Bren, you were able to generate 2,600 pounds of force. Holy so about shot. twice what the tiger generated. But let's not forget, the big cat was only playing. Go, go. It was literally playing around. I would imagine on an attack, it would be so much greater in terms of the force uh, output. No one knows how much force a tiger on the attack can really generate. It's simply too dangerous to measure. Our experts estimate that it's over 10,000 pounds of force. But for human fighters, it's the technique that matters most. But to actually have a live tiger in front of you, you can actually see the comparisons very clearly. The technique is very similar. But how much damage can it really do? Tiger-style kung fu is legendary for its explosive power and ferocious claws. To find out what Bren's Tiger Claw Strike is really made of, he'll have to use it against an opponent. Bren will attack this biofidelic head form, designed to react like human flesh and bone. Okay, Bren, you ready? Yep. Okay. Three, two, one, attack! Ah! Suck! Suck! Oh, oh, oh. Holy jumping. Oh, oh. Wow. Ouch, man. The strike actually shreds flesh and nearly tears the trachea out of the throat. A lethal technique. These are the deadly results of the tiger claw seen from the inside out. Tiger claw fighters actually harden their fingertips, striking hard objects repeatedly. This actually breaks the finger bones a little at a time. They're called microfractures. Cells called osteoblasts then repair the microfractures by adding calcium to the external layer of the bone, making them harder and denser over time. These impacts also tend to increase the pain threshold of the nerves in the fingers, raising the limit at which they send pain signals to the brain. Perform the tiger claw strike. Fingers must be solid, like claws. Because there are no muscles in human fingers, most of the work is done by the arm. With the right training, the fingers are capable of actually tearing into flesh, similar to the claws of a tiger. It's a devastating technique. Attack! Ah, suck! There's no way in the world I think I will ever get the opportunity to use this technique on a human, and I wouldn't want to. But to be able to test this particular technique, it's invaluable. Obviously, this is a skill we hope we never have to use. But it's good to see Tiger Kung Fu is not just a flashy style, but it's an effective technique that can do some serious damage. Ah!